Good morning guys and happy Saturday to all of your sunshiny faces. So I've got a Meyer haul for you guys, just Meyer. Um, I don't have anything else because Walgreens, I was thinking I was telling you guys the deal with the Crest toothpaste. Every single one that I was clicking on was not showing that you got the like $4 register award back when you bought two. So I was like, I really don't think that like, I'm not totally thinking that like it was gonna work or whatever. Um, and I didn't wanna chance it. So I was like, I'm just gonna not. Um, so anyways, I do have my Meyer haul. We spent a little bit more than originally anticipated but i have to share with you guys two of the items that i got um because they were not food things i ended up spending around 30 bucks um on top of that too it also says that i earned a three dollars back um like in my meyer like you know rewards or whatever it says i earned three dollars back for purchasing i don't know how much in um it said deli or bakery I have not bought anything from the deli or bakery like at all recently so it was weird though because when i did earn the the dairy one it said that same thing like it was 15 and you got a three dollars back on the dairy and i did buy a couple dairy items um but like i still don't think i would have gotten up to the 15 dollars um or like still what i needed so and it was already tracking but for some reason it's showing that like that's in my account but it also didn't wind up saying that um like that i could redeem it today when i went to the store like it didn't come up on the screen like oh would you like to redeem three dollars or whatever so i didn't have it in my account prior to today but it's in there now at least it says it is so i totally don't know i don't know if i did earn it and or how i did but anyway, um, I'll share with you guys the deals that are going on um, and what we ended up picking up. Um, there were some, like I said, some really good deals. Um, and we got a couple of frozen snack things. It wasn't a huge, huge haul. We did, like I say, spend a little bit more to show you guys the smart home um, things we ended up getting that I got a pretty good deal on, actually. Right, so right here, these were the items we ended up picking up from Meyer. These would have totaled $123.10. We ended up paying $77.48 and saved $45. 62 i got back 12 dollars and nine cents for my bada um possibly also again that three dollars would have made it 1509 if i did earn it and or how i did i'm not sure my net cost was 65.39 if you figure in that three dollars that i mysteriously possibly earned was a 62.39 as a net cost which i think is pretty good um and originally i had estimated 50 bucks but i was not including these sink um like uh, home smart plugs. Um, they have both the outdoor ones and the indoor plugs. The indoor is just a singular plug. The outdoor is actually a double plug and it does work with either Google or Alexa. And we do have an Alexa that we got. I think my aunt was going to give it to us for Christmas and then ended up giving it to us like somewhat after that. I think she just had an extra one or they weren't going to use it or they had one already or something. Or I think she was actually going to give it to my aunt, her mom. And then she ended up like not wanting it or something like that. So then she ended up giving it to us. Um, so anyways, we do have one. We don't have currently have it set up, but I thought that we could get it set up. And we can use this for the backyard. So we can plug in like the bistro lights back here and and then use this for, um, you know, like, you know, turning on our bistro lights, um, you know, just by, you know, like smart home. Um, and then also to the um, indoor plug. So the deal going on was these were actually on sale 30% off. So this is normally $29.99 and this is normally $20.99. Um, so they were 30% off. So this rang up at $14.69 and this rang up at $20.99. But then Ibotta has an offer where you get back $3 for buying the outdoor one and $1.50 for buying this one. Plus you also get a dollar bonus for buying both of them so in total you wind up getting back five dollars and fifty cents um like i said i ended up paying only about around like 30 or so dollars between the both of them which i think is actually pretty good considering that just the one the outdoor one retails at pretty much that price so it was almost like i got this one for free which is pretty cool and again we can get those all synced up and um as the name says um and like i said set up like i was thinking of doing this for our, our living room lights because we actually use them on a switch um but it's a plug-in switch um because we don't use our overhead light all that often so like i said i was thinking that this might actually be useful for that as well um so that was like i said the little smart home thing but i overpaid by 30 bucks basically because i wasn't originally super planning on getting this but when i saw a sale plus i bought an offer plus i was basically almost getting this one for free i thought that was actually a pretty good deal so um the other deals that were going on <clears throat> 
The Meyer orange juice was just on sale for $3.99. Again, sometimes they consider that the dairy section, so I don't know if that counted towards it, but I wasn't that close to getting that, earning that reward again, so I don't think that I would have gotten it back, but I don't know. Um, and then the Dean's Dip, which was also a dairy product that I ended up getting. The normal price, $2.59, but there was a dollar off in Perks coupon, so it was just $1.59, which my mom likes Dean's Dip, so I figured that was actually a pretty good price for that. And then also to the Fairlife Yogurt, that was um, normal price, $4.99, but there was a dollar off M Perks coupon, so I paid $3.99. Then you end up getting $2.50 back from my bot. It's supposed to be like a 50% off, but including the M Perks, I still get the $2.50 back. So where I only paid $3.99, I get $2.50 back. So it only made it $1.49, which is pretty good. Um, so I went ahead and picked that up as well. And again, that also could probably counted towards the dairy. So I don't know, maybe I did actually earn it back because now that I'm looking at it, that was between those two items, I was right about like 10 bucks um, almost plus that. And I think, like I said, I was slightly a little bit towards that. And then the um, Perfect Bar, which is back here. Sometimes this also maybe counts as dairy every once in a while. Like that's the section they, they had it in. It was on sale for um, $2.19. And there was, uh, you get $2.99 back for my bada, so it actually makes it completely free, plus I'll get the full $2.99 back, so it actually is an 80 cent money maker, because they had them on sale instead of that regular price, because it was like a freebie, like, um, Ibotta offer. Um, so I will get that back, the full amount, even though they were on sale, so that's really awesome. Um, so that, like I said, might have also counted towards that. So now that I'm adding it up, I think I did actually earn that that, like I said, $3. It was $3 back when you spent 15 on dairy products um, in the month of July. So like I said, I think that I did wind up possibly earning that back anyway. And I think I had like a slight little bit from before when I bought the cheese, I think. Like it was like maybe uh, 2 or $3 or something like that counted towards the next one. So that could have been why. Um, and then they had Tostitos, um, the Tostitos pizza rolls on sale, um, the 50 count, $7 for two, but they did have a, um, 50 cents back for my bada um, when you bought a 50 count. So I was able to redeem that twice. So I ended up getting a dollar back for two or making them about $6 for two or $3 each, which wasn't too bad. And again, like I was telling you guys, we just right now in the summer while well, everybody's home sort of need some of those like fast, easy freezer things. Um, so that was a good deal. So with these um, El Monte chimichangas, these are on sale $8 for two. Um, so I picked up two of those, plus they also had a 25% off coupon, which took an additional dollar off. So that makes these $7 for two or like uh, three fifty dollars each, which I think is a pretty good price because that makes these under 50 cents per, um, like burrito. But they do wind up, um, like if you buy one, it might sort of be a better price because that's 509 that they retail at that was what i was going to do but when i went in the store and saw that they were on sale then i ended up just like i said picking up two because i was like well it's actually better to buy two but the coupon only takes off once so it only took one dollar off so that made those like i said seven dollars for two so again we spent a little bit more on the frozen food snack sort of stuff but again these are super easy like people can just throw those in and heat those up kind of thing so I thought that was good because like on a day like today, again, when we're not doing anything for like lunches and I think we do have some leftovers, but again, it's just that convenience thing of like people just being able to heat something up real quick to have for themselves. Um, so then some of the other deals that were going on, they had Colgate's. This is normal price, the 3.3 .3 ounce of the Colgate total, normal price 319, but they had a $3 off any Colgate toothpaste. It's advertised to, like with the like gum, I don't know, like, or, you know, one of the more expensive brands optic white gum something or other I don't know um, but you it says you can use it on anyone so you can use it on this one and it will take that down make it only 19 cents and then with these pot ponds um, these uh, what's it called the, the wipes these are um, normal price they're in the trial like travel section they're normal price three dollars but there's a three dollar off any ponds coupon so that made these completely free they also have the smaller travel size of the ponds like cold cream um, I think it's like the one point something ounces um, and those are two dollars and so you could use that coupon on that as well um, it does show that it's like the my the M perks coupon match that matches up with it so you can use it on that as well and that'll make it also free you don't get the overage on it but um, that is a pretty good deal, like I said. So I got a little thing of the um, facial wipes for free. Um, and then too, they also had the Febreze fabric, um, like freshener stuff spray um, on sale for, I think it was 
$5.99 and then there was a $3 off coupon making it $1.99. I believe this is their advertised, one of their advertised deals going on along with the Purex as well. That is $8.99 and there's a $3 off coupon making it $5.99. Um, there was no Ibotta offer though the last couple times I've had an Ibotta offer for a dollar off as well, but I didn't have that. That was still a good price. And then this was a personalized um, like coupon based on my like shopping habits. They had like um, special picks or something like that. But the family size Cheez-Its were on sale for $4.49 and I had a dollar off of the family size. So that ended up making those just $3.49, which again for the family size is a pretty good price. So I went ahead and picked up one of those. And then lastly, the other deal that I had going on was on the Bic Soleil razors. These were on sale or normal price $5.19. Now when you spent $10, so I bought two, so it was, you know, a little $10 and like 40 cents almost. Um, and so I bought two, you get $3 off. Plus they also had a $3 off of one coupon. So it's basically like I got $3 off each. So that made these $2.19 each, which was pretty good um, for buying two of them. Or you could just buy one and still you take, get the $3 off for just the coupon. Again, by buying two though, if you spend the $10, then you wind up getting the three dollars off another one you know basically um or you know like however you figure that but that was like i said how i looked at it so i basically paid 219 for each one which is pretty good um so those were all of my deals like i said i'm excited about this getting this stuff set up and figured out and everything like that but i thought this was pretty cool and again for significantly less than like i said basically it was like i got this one for free by buying just this um with like i said the sale that they had going on and the i bought off or all that kind of stuff so that was really cool. I'm really happy about, like I said, getting that and being able to do this deal with this and everything. So um, anyways, I thought I'd just share all those deals with you guys. Like I said, there wasn't a whole ton going on. And I do feel like we spent a little bit more. But again, if you exclude the $30 of the 70 I ended up paying, I was like 45 bucks basically for the other things, which again, I didn't think was all that bad. Like we spent a, sort of a lot on the frozen stuff really more. But um, like I said, it wasn't all of like, I, I felt like too bad of deals um, that were going on. I thought I'd just share those deals that were going on with you guys um as far as you know like i said a uh, couple minor things and like i said too i i decided on the last minute whether or not we were going to get those smart outlets or not i wasn't totally sure if i wanted to get them or not but then when i told my dad and then i sort of looked to like to see like the sale and everything like that i was like that is 30 percent off i was like that's already pretty good plus i know i'm getting like the ibotta offers back i was like that is really a good deal and so like i was trying to tell my dad like if we didn't have the alexa too and again we still haven't gotten it set up and i actually don't know where it is currently um then i probably would have just passed on it but um like i said i think that's kind of cool just you know to oh that's thunder it's currently also thunderstorming outside guys which i'm so happy because that means i don't have to water anything outside i thought it was supposed to rain on sunday but like when i woke up it had just rained but it was sunny out and i asked my dad i was like did it rain because i was actually literally going to go take the um the watering can out before we left and watered the some of the hanging baskets and stuff like that and he was like oh yeah it just rained and i was like oh like i looked outside and i saw like all the all the baskets were all <laughs> soaking wet so i was like okay i guess i don't have to and then but it was like sunny and then when we left and we were gone it was downpouring when we went into meyer then it got all sunny again it's been sunny and now it looks like it's gonna start <laughs> thunderstorming again so um anyways like i said though with the the smart outlet stuff i think it'll push us maybe a little bit more to finally get the Alexa set up that I think my aunt gave us like I said she gave it to us sometime after Christmas because I know that she like I said gave it to her mom for Christmas and then she was like I'm not going to use it <laughs> and so um then she asked us if we wanted it because she already had one and so we were like oh sure like you know that's cool so um she ended up giving it to us but sometime like I said after that so it was like sometime I almost want to say maybe she dropped it off for Mother's Day or maybe when we saw them for Valentine's Day or something like that um she ended up giving it to us i think so we've had it for a little while but um like i said i think that'll help us like motivate us to get it set up so that we can get these set up too and then had the bistro lights on a smart switch and everything like that instead of having to go out there plug it in every time um that would be like i said pretty cool and also too like i said our, our living room lights that we can just tell alexa to turn them on instead so um anyways i'm gonna get all this stuff put away especially cold and frozen stuff should not be sitting out for too long well guys it is some time later and i'm gonna take a shower now and get to bed we were not able to get any projects done outside because it did wind up sort of clearing up like 
like later um today but it was honestly super muddy outside and raining like i said and it was on and off like even when you were like oh okay like it's getting nice and sunny outside <laughs> and it'd start raining again all of a sudden a thunderstorm wind up coming through it happened like three times today um so again we like by the afternoon it really wasn't raining but then i saw that overnight it's we're supposed to get thunderstorms again so that's why i'm gonna go take a shower and get to bed early because i am tired gotta get to jewel and aldi tomorrow and that is it i don't have anything for menards and they don't have anything um for like walgreens like or you know anything extra tomorrow just jewel and aldi um and that is gonna be it i don't even think that we really need to go to um menards like i don't think we need anything for any project stuff again the stuff that we wanted to get done too because i was like oh well like you know my dad might be able to work on the vegetable garden bed and i'll stay in the fence but i couldn't stay in the fence because again it was all raining and wet and it's not gonna work well <laughs> it's wet and my dad couldn't um he had to like till the the ground for the last spot um for you know sort of dig it up but it's harder to do when it is muddy um and so he couldn't do that well like i said it was the weather conditions today so that's why I like our at least planned sort of projects for today we couldn't even get to so um and then I was like well we don't really have anything else planned for today as far as anything else we wanted to do and we did wind up watching the UFC fights today which were on at I think 11 o'clock um they were actually on early today because um they uh i think we're in like uh, london or something like that so obviously like because of the time change it was like early for us um and so we were just like oh we'll just watch those then since we can't really get to anything and we were hoping like if it clear up like by later today like oh well maybe we can get to something but again it didn't end up you know like it didn't really work out to where we could get to anything so we did get that grocery shopping done though i was super happy with like i said meyer even with the extra little purchase that we threw in there but that is a cool like i said buy that again those things retail at a lot more like trying to find something very similar even to on amazon like at an off brand or something like that um you know like a cheap brand sort of thing like you still wind up pretty much paying that much or more anyway so i was pretty happy with finding that deal um like i said it was pretty cool they had a whole section of all of that brand like i said i think it was called sync um like in meyer and they have light bulbs and all kinds of other stuff but the only two rebates that were available were for those two specifically that i showed you guys they did have other rebates available for my bottom but not available at meyer but it was like also on the light bulbs and those other type of things which was kind of cool so again too you can work that all into your smart home stuff they might have it at walmart too like i said i didn't really look into that but i noticed like they said they had other ones but they weren't available at meyer so um but meyer had like i said a 30 percent off sale which is really good and then top that off with with those ibotta offers um plus the bonus like it was all really good so um like i said those were all good deals and other you know grocery things and stuff like that so i think with that yogurt too i'm going to try and do parfaits but i have to wait until i'm hoping maybe strawberries will be on sale next week or at least i'll have some berries there is blueberries on sale at jewel but i think i might hold out until next week because i should be able to use the blueberries if they're still like good ones like left from this week and then i can see if they have strawberries maybe or some other type of berries too for next week and then we can do more parfaits for breakfast um so anyways that was my plan with that I don't think I mentioned that to you guys but um anyways I'm gonna take a shower and get to bed I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and I'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys